hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here and today we have an unboxing. Now today's unboxing comes to us as you can see from Wizardy. The folks over at Wizardy contacted me and was like, hey, can we send you some stuff? And I was like, yeah, sure, sure, send away. So they went ahead and sent me this box. I don't know how long it took or anything just because of the fact I didn't get a tracking number, which is fine because I completely forgot about it. And then it just magically showed up and I was like, oh, yay, magical packages. It's really like Christmas. It's a Christmas miracle. So we're going to get in here or at least attempt to. So hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I don't want to show you the front because my address is on it. that get rid of that paper we gonna need our handy dandy knife okay, cut that open i need to sharpen my knife it's getting a little dull in all these packages but it looks like they pick things up pretty good let's see when you open it up Whoa. All right. Let's see what we got here, folks. Let's see what we got. So we got two items. Now, one of them isn't a diamond painting. As you can see, one is a 3D owl. It has 53 parts. And as you can see, complexity, no scissors needed. Glue is included. Six, it's a six-hour project. I don't know if I want to get into that. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's put this off to the side for right now. Let's take a look in this box. Um, I wanted to try one of their paper crafts. Well, technically, Mr. Coffee's going to try one of their paper crafts. So they asked me to pick one, and I saw this owl on their website, and I was like, oh, yes. All right, so there's your glue. Oops, sorry. There's your glue whoa whoa there's all your pieces looks like a rubik's cube and it gives you some assembly instructions everything came beautifully like nothing is damaged so that's a plus whoa okay and then you have your sheets that you essentially would tear apart and stick together and mr coffee will be working on this you guys will see this completed within the next few weeks uh, but he'll have to work on it like after work and stuff like that. So, uh, this is probably going to be our family weekend project here. So keep an eye out for that because maybe we can get the whole family included. Not fold that in half like that because I feel like that's what it needs. But I see. So yeah, so it tells you how to fold the paper to get the shape that you want. And I don't know if there are, all the pages are there. I'm going to I'm going to assume and trust these folks that it's all there. And again, this is what it's going to make. So Mr. Coffee will be very happy to see that. How cool is that? And it just came in this little box like this. It's 16 and a half inches tall. That's going to be awesome. Oh, it's sculpture by number. Yeah, we're, we're definitely doing this as a family project. All right. But I also did pick out a diamond painting. Now, one, I love their boxes. Their boxes are very cute. I love the little design on the box. The little house, probably going to hoard the box. Here we go. I love this. So it shows you the picture and it looks like it shows you a mock-up of the picture. That's awesome. Quick and easy. Gives you the temperatures and stuff. And avoid any direct sunlight or temperature 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. 
Yeah, because it is like negative 14 outside right now when I'm recording this. I just dropped the kids off at school. Yeah, yeah, they still go to school. All right, so mood, canvas, tools, masterpiece. You got to be in a good mood, folks. So it says, congratulations, you are holding a unique wizardy kit. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, and this is a 27 by 38, so it's a little snack size painting. I'm going to guess if you take your QR reader and read, uh, scan it there, it will take you over to their site on the side here. It also lets you know that it's a 27 by 38 centimeter. There's the little image. So when you open, whoa, okay, I've never seen one come like this before. So it is a square. There is lots of static. But I've noticed static is a sign of good quality drills. So let's take a look. Are we seeing any knobbly bits? So far, they look pretty good. Here we go. I'm not seeing any dimples in them, no knobbly bits. They look really good. All right. So then you have your pumpkin spice toolkit, green boat. Wax pen, I don't care. Cheapo tweezers, more drills. So it looks like your drills are all back here. Wow, they look really good. Here's our canvas. What is? Oh, dude, look, they have the triangle tray. I'm not sure how you're supposed to use that with no ridges or anything in it, but we'll figure it out. What's this? Are these instructions? It's in multiple different languages. Come on, let's read it together. Any of the UK folks? So we have some instructions. Wizardy in your heart. Aw, that's cool. All right, we're going I don't see an inventory sheet. Which means they do weight diamonds. I do see this. Now, the rubber band is on here. I'm not a big fan of rubber bands. So we're going to take those off. We're going to let it sit like that for a second. We're going to do some movie magic and get our clipboard. Oh, diamond painting? All right. So with our movie magic, I got the clipboard out. I did some inventory. We're letting this rest a little bit. So I am going to guess that it is double-sided adhesive that is used. I'm also going to guess that I'm hoping that I don't mess up the canvas itself. Again, it's a 27 by 38. Oh my god. You guys. Okay, turn it back. Turn it back. This thing is so clear. And it is absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's look at the drill field. Lots of confetti. But the symbols look... Look, there's a thumbs up in there. Look, you see in the green? There's a freaking thumbs up in there. You got some tulips. They definitely have some unique... So for those wondering, is it tacky? It is super tacky. It has 34 colors and they all are present and accounted for. So let's see these crazy symbols. I'm not sure what the first one is. Then we have a cactus and it looks like a smiley face or a baby face in a house. Clover, we got quotes. The number three, is that a hectagon or octagon? We got a thumbs up, we got a leaf, we got a 69, dirty birds. We got a Z and a circle with a line through it. We got a heart that looks like a Christmas tree, an umbrella. They definitely have some unique symbols. Look, Laura, there's your pickle. There's a creepy eye. Looks like a wrench. There's a car. There's a car. How do you get a car a symbol? I feel like my fluid's low or my... my Tires about to get flat. So let's see if it measures true to size. Oh, focus yourself. 
There you go. So it says it's a 27 by 38 centimeter. So let's see if that's complete drill filled or if that's the canvas itself. So centimeter. So. Yeah. Right on the money for 27. right on the money for 38. They are definitely true to size. You guys, I would have to say I already, the quality of the drills looks amazing. There's no 310s in this. Um, so let's look at the drills over here. There's no 310s in this. The quality of the, dr the drills is amazing. Look, look at this. And again, they're square. You gotta focus on the drill speed. I don't see a single knobbly bit. So let's pour some out in the little tray, shall we? Where'd that little triangle boat thing go? I'm worried because there is a lot of static in here. So you're definitely gonna need some dryer sheets. But again, I've noticed that static comes from really good quality drills. So if that's what I have to deal with to have good quality drills, I'll do it. So let's see. I wonder how many facets they use. I'm pretty sure it says it somewhere on there. So have you guys ordered from Wizardy before? How did you like your experience? Have you not? You should probably try them if you haven't because it looks like they have good qualities, especially if you love drill or square drills. Um... Like I said, everything came so protected, uh, and for it to withstand the temperatures up north here, uh, definitely they are worth checking out. So if you have never checked out Wizardy before, please go over and check them out. I will have a link to this canvas and the 3D Owl down below, because paper crafts, yes. Mr. Coffee was really interested when he saw that owl, so I had to get it for him. Um, I was going to save it for Christmas, but yet yeah, no. So, their canvas is measured to size. Their drill quality is great. Their canvases are super tacky. The detail in the image is comp is totally there. You can totally see it. Even for this small of a size, the fact that I can see the smile on the star's face, like, look at that. You can see the smile on the star's face. You can see the halo and what looks like the mistletoe or whatever on the little mouse's head with the halo. Uh, if you bring it down, you can clearly see the harp and the mouse's hand, all the detail in the shirt. So yeah, if an image is true to size, I'm guessing, you can definitely get the quality that people are looking for. Even though it is confetti, that confetti is, gonna give you, was, is what's going to give you your detail. So I would, again, I would highly recommend if you guys haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out over at Wizardy. I will, again, link all this stuff down below. Thank you over to the folks at Wizardy. I greatly appreciate it. I cannot wait to try out this kit. It will probably be the one I start uh, soon because I do want to do a holiday one. So, yeah, if you guys are inclined to join me, please feel free to join me. So with that said, folks, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment section. But with that said, if you're not already a subscriber and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. Believe me, it's random. With that said, folks, I'm going to have to bid you adieu. But not before I remind you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.